Well, you know, anytime I have a customer that calls, I generally ask them some qualifying questions. Is it a trailer? Is it a motor home? Uh, does it share a fuel source with the, uh, with the motor home? You know, if, if it is a motor home. Um, you know, we, uh, Cummins offers two different lines of products. We offer a, an, a strictly RV product. Um, generally speaking, anything that has living quarters in it is considered an RV. And so an RV generator would be the proper application for, uh, for that. Uh, anything that is going to be used commercially, even if it has living quarters in it, uh, you would want to use a commercial grade generator in. Uh, the commercial grade is a little bit more robust. It has built-in battery charging and a few other uh, functions uh, that, uh, you know, that enable it to be used uh, in a commercial application. Um, you know, probably what you're, what you're talking about is uh, you know, an open tube frame portable. And uh, you, know, you can get these at any home improvement store. And uh, they're excessively loud. And it's not going to be something that you can run at night and sleep through. Um, obviously you're going to have to go out in all kinds of different weather conditions and refill the tank. And uh, you know, frankly, in today's day and age, uh, people won't tolerate the noise, you know, neighbors and other campers. You know, they, uh, uh, they want everybody to have something that runs quiet and, uh, you know, doesn't create a lot of ruckus. Oh, they, they just absolutely love the clean, quiet power. In fact, uh, there's some of our models that um, when they're installed in the RV and they're running under load, the customer doesn't even realize it's running. It's so quiet. Well, some of the key features that Onan offers is clean and reliable, stable power, uh, you know, appropriate for use with everything from microwaves to laptop computers. Uh, today's RV customer has a very large broad range of different appliances and uh, you know small electronic devices that they're operating and all of our generators uh, produce that nice clean power and uh, and, and do, they do so quietly. As far as quiet goes <clears throat> the DB ratings are equal to portables. Uh, you know, now there's a variety of different portables out there. Uh, some are a lot better than others. Some are meant to be thrown into the back of a pickup truck and they're not quiet whatsoever. Uh, once you start RVing, you're gonna realize that quiet is critical. And so uh, that's what kind of differentiates our product from everybody else's, as well as the ability to use the fuel tank that's aboard your, your vehicle. So you're not outside in the rain at midnight trying to refill your portable generator. Uh, well, it's all about uh, amps available out of each generator, so I think the, the critical thing is to add up all the power demands that you have in your coach to determine what, how many amps you actually need to run at one time, and that would help us size your generator appropriately. I think another big thing is, is how many rooftop air conditioners do you have on your coach or your trailer? Uh, if it's a single air conditioner, you can get in, away with a smaller kilowatt set. Uh, once you put two ACs on, then you're going to have to run a 5500 or bigger uh, to accommodate those air conditioners plus all the other loads that you want to run. Well, in the uh, gas product, uh, we offer LP and uh, gasoline, and uh, obviously the larger units are diesel gasoline evaporates and the federal government has mandated we come up with some type of system to capture those fumes and consume them in the engine rather than let them just evaporate into the atmosphere. So uh, we have a little vacuum port that's built in and it, uh, it pulls vacuum off of a charcoal canister and the charcoal canister stores fumes that come off the gas tank. So. Fumes are generated in the gas tank when it's sitting and you know, it, it heats up. Uh, they go into the charcoal canister. You come along, start the generator. Now the generator pulls that vapor in and consumes it inside the generator rather than uh, venting it to the atmosphere. So all of our products carry their own warranty. Um, there's no issue whether you buy it uh, from Cummins or PED or you know wherever it's purchased from, it carries its own warranty. Uh, warranty is covered at any certified Cummins service center, so it's probably important to make sure that whoever 
uh, is doing the warranty work does carry that certification. There's a number, any number of Cummins certified service centers across North America and in Canada and uh, there's, there's absolutely no issue where the generator has been purchased from. Maintenance is a big factor. As with any piece of equipment, you always want to keep the oil changed, uh, air filters clean, and uh, it, it's surprising. It seems like um, a lot of people, especially if it's uh, a unit that's being used commercially, um, you know, that is basically their bread and butter, and they're on the go all the time, and it's work, work, work. Um, but the bad thing is sometimes that routine maintenance can get away from them. So I've, I've gotten phone calls in the past uh, when I was a technician and somebody will bring their generator in and uh, the complaint is it won't run. And I tell you, first thing I do is take the dipstick out and it's got a half a quart oil when it should have two. So, um, you know, primarily that's, that's the biggest thing we see. Um, you know, lack of lack of routine maintenance and uh, it's obviously very important so I think there's a lot of people out there that are familiar with portables yeah. portables have uh, a self-contained gas can or a fuel cell in them um, so one of the common questions I have is is how much fuel does it hold well these are really permanent mount generators and they're meant to be coupled up with a uh, independent fuel system so uh, a lot of your RVs uh, will have a uh, remote fuel tank and then the line runs between the fuel system and the generator and that can be anywhere from seven gallons up to you know even 40 gallons so. but these the units that we see here none of them contain any fuel cell the technology has changed tremendously um, our generators used to be made out of cast iron, believe it or not. They were so heavy, it was unbelievable. The noise wasn't a big deal because no one knew any better. And uh, we're actually putting together a 100th anniversary trailer showcasing, showcasing what we've done with our generators over the last 100 years. And so it's, it's pretty cool to actually start up something that was built in the 1920s and compare it to what we have today. So, uh, and we have, we staged that all the way through the 40s and 60s and, and 90s and, and where we're at today. So it, it's, it's pretty incredible how, how small, how much smaller they've gotten, how much lighter they've gotten and how much quieter they've gotten.